But first tonight, the wave of recent violence against the AAPI community is now hitting closer to home. A viral video capturing the aftermath of what police are calling a hate crime. And thanks for joining us this evening. I'm Trisha Keene. And I'm Todd Quinones. Well, Metro Police, they have arrested a woman for allegedly hitting a six-year-old Asian-American boy right on the Las Vegas Strip. And 13 Action News reporter Jeremy Chan spoke with one AAPI leader who's demanding accountability and also for the violence to stop. We've had very few incidents reported here in Nevada relating to hate against the AAPI community. However, a API leader I spoke with says this particular incident over the 4th of July weekend is the first time we've had an attack reported against someone who's Asian American. It's a disheartening video for Sonny Venuya, president of the Las Vegas Asian Chamber of Commerce. It was posted on TikTok where a woman is seen ranting about China and the poster says she hit her son for being Asian. Let alone a six year old kid. Uh, it, it just amazes me um, how people can have so much hate. The woman in the video is identified by Metro Police as 57-year-old Shelly Hill. She was arrested on hate crime and battery charges. The arrest report says she was caught on surveillance video backhanding a six-year-old boy while he was walking with his family on the pedestrian bridge leading to the shops at Crystals on July 5th. Officers say Hill allegedly told the family coronavirus was all your fault after hitting the boy. Venuya says he's not surprised to hear this rhetoric. It's a common theme of what we've been seeing uh, from, from people who, who's been doing this bad behavior, uh, blaming Asians here, no matter if you're Chinese, Filipino, Japanese or anything. Hate incidents in general against the AAPI community have been infrequent in Nevada. The nonprofit Stop AAPI Hate has compiled 38 incidents reported since March 2020, most of them verbal incidents. It's much lower than states like California or New York, which have experienced a rising number of violent attacks against Asian Americans. Venuya says it's a good thing an incident like this is rare here in Nevada. But when it does happen, it can be jarring. This is what we've always been afraid of the escalation part. And that's the reason why we've been working so hard, working with other leaders in the community to kind of nip this in the bud. Some on social media argue it appeared the alleged assault may be more of an issue with mental health. Venuya says that should be addressed, but there also must be accountability for her words and actions. People could have mental issues, but still, but they still have to be accountable for the actions that they take. He's grateful for the work of Metro Police and feels the agency is taking this case seriously. Here they are uh, arresting this lady and charging them both with Asian hate crimes and battery. We did reach out to the poster of that TikTok video, but did not hear back by deadline. Hill will be back in court on July 27. Jeremy Chen, 13 Action News.